Okay, all of you know that I'm doing a project on Tesla coil. And basically, I'm trying to do this project for military defense. Now, what I have designed here is a AA powered Tesla coil, which uses just two AA batteries. And this is basically the modified circuit, the modified zapper circuit, which I have included a toggle button, which you can see here. These are the two batteries which power that mosquito zapper circuit and then this is given to capacitors basically 3 kb capacitors they are all aligned in parallel and then this is finally passed on to a spark cap where basically the sparking will take place and once the power is achieved it will be transferred to this LOPT this LOPT is nothing but a line output transformer or flyback transformer of a TV which I am using as a Tesla coil. So as to demonstrate the directional strike of it, so as to give a targeted directional strike on enemy vehicles. Now here is the main toroid where basically it will emit the plasma channels and the lightning strike. If we connect it on to the earth, it will basically show plasma rays coming out from this thyroid but for us to understand the directional strike we will basically keep this negative terminal this negative terminal is the negative of the flyback secondary and if you see this terminal here this is the secondary of the flyback so this is the positive and this is the negative of the flyback transformer from the secondary side now as we see here in the zapper circuit this is basically a rectifier which converts the AC to DC and then this DC is given to these universal caps of 3 kb the reason why we did not take out the rectifier circuit from here is because the transformer has an inverter circuit in it so that's the reason why we require to supply it with DC which then gets again inverted to AC and then the output is rectified again it has an inverter circuit and a rectifier circuit in it so that's the reason why we didn't touch or manipulate the zapper circuit which is seen there now for the directional strike as I told you this is the negative terminal of the secondary LOPT so we'll be basically keeping plates here all around this and this will be one of the plate where the strike will hit so that's uh, how we are going to give a targeted directional strike on enemy vehicles or infantry so this is just basically to demonstrate my real project will basically deal with nearly 500 kb so without further ado let's turn it on so now we see circuit is turned on we can see the spark that is developed on the spark cap the spark cap is here it gives totally around 5 to 6 centimeter spark which can be seen very well So it's giving 6 cm so the directional strike will be basically like this we keep the metallic plate here and we'll get the spark cap is here as you can see and this is how we are going to achieve the strike on enemy vehicles or enemy personnel thereby rendering them defenseless